With temperatures hitting the 90s this week, we're already there. It won't be long before we are jumping into the swimming pool with friends and family. And joining me now is executive chef Anthony Crosinzi from Kiss Restaurant and the venue Scottsdale. He is here to show us some wonderful fresh appetizers for the spring and the summer. Welcome. I love thank having you, thank you here. You. We were just I love having being a great here. conversation with you. Really, cooking comes from the heart for you. You started in Chicago, and now we're lucky enough to have you here in the Valley. Yeah, you know, I mean, I love cooking. It's something I'm real passionate about, and springtime is definitely my favorite time of the year because all the good, fresh, organic, seasonal stuff starts coming out. It's all in season, it's bright, it's colorful, it tastes good, and it's, you know, it's good for you for the uh, summer months. And I love that it's good for you, and the great thing about what Chef Anthony is going to do today, he's going to show us how we can incorporate this into our menus at home with our family. You're making bruschetta, and you're using wonderful ingredients. Let's get started, because I can't wait to do Sounds this. Sounds good. I do a little bit of a twist on the bruschetta. I do it more of a roasted style, and because um, tomatoes, Fresh tomatoes are in season. Mm -hmm. We're going to do it with. We're going to start out with those. So if you'd like okay. to help me out, you got it. On the far left, we have roasted artichokes. And how many should I use? A couple. Of uh, one scoop of each okay. will be good. Perfect. And then next to it, roasted red bell peppers. Okay. I love bell peppers. So I'm going to do a couple more of that. And <laughs> then right next to it is the roasted Campari tomatoes. And Campari is that a particular type that it we should is. look for? It is. It's a little okay. bit smaller of a tomato, a whole lot sweeter, mm -hmm. real pure. Nice flavor. Looks great. So hit it with a little pepper, a little chopped garlic, and a little sea salt. Okay. And take a couple basil leaves. You could rip them apart with your hands. You it's really a, are it's putting a, me to work. It's you a rustic dish. You told me you were going to put me to work, but I'm telling you, I, I'm, I'm excited because then I'm going to feel more comfortable when I get home and do this. Okay. And a um, couple of the things I like to use right here, this is extra virgin olive oil. Just you can olive give it a nice little, okay, depending on how it. greasy you like it. I, I love, I love <laughs> olive oil. Right here is um, balsamic vinegar from Modinia, aged um, 25 years. Okay. Ah, there we go. Okay, is there a, a particular... Splash. Is there a particular... Um, is there a particular one that you prefer? I've never seen this one. Yeah, it's, it's a, you know, imported from Italy. It's oh, from... Nice. Um, it's from Odinia, like I said, it's aged 25 years. It, it has almost a syrupy texture. Really, really sweet, really nice. Mm -hmm. um, that looks and good. These, this is just a plain Italian baguette that I sliced on a bias. I brushed it with the uh, extra virgin olive oil and mm -hmm. toasted it off in the oven. So if you want to scoop a little bit you on that. You got it, you got it. I, I think this is the first segment, cooking segment, that I've actually done the whole thing. So I feel really good about this. Thank you for taking me to the next level. <laughs> <laughs> Happy to do it. You know, my, my it. sous chef who was here with me today wouldn't be so uh, eager to agree with, uh, so that you know, was, being put to work. That but. was simple, right? That was so easy. That was simple. And what I like to do is garnish it with a little grana padano, which is... That's uh, cheese. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like Parmesan Reggiano, but it's got a little bit more of a nutty taste mm -hmm. and um, texture to it, and that's it. So do I bake this? No, that's ready to eat right that's there. Ready. That's ready. Look to at eat. me go. All yeah. right, all right, I'm going to take a bite. It's good, it's fresh, it's healthy, and because it has that nice sweet balsamic vinegar mm, in there, that the kids will like it. And I mean, you can't go wrong with it. I mean, there's probably like four calories. Oh, that calories was so on good! And I did it myself. See, you, you promised did it yourself. that we're going to be able girl. to do I'm this. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> and these are simple recipes, Very and our simple. kids can even join in and help. That was wonderful. Yeah. I absolutely loved it. Hopefully, you guys did too. And you're just getting started. We're I'm just getting started. We're going to have a whole started. array of appetizers for the spring and summer that we can use and incorporate. And next, I mean, look at you. You got your hands behind your back. Yeah, I told I'm you. It. When I All said right. you're, when you're going I'm to work. Thinking, I'm thinking this is how I can do this. Okay. Thank you so much, Chef Anthony. And coming up, you're going to show us another appetizer too.